So probably the most boring, beautiful, outdoorsy part of Buffalo is literally Grand Island. And we're gonna be taking a tour throughout the entire island right now. I got the camera, got the uh, drone right here. We gonna take a huge tour. It's gonna be a lot of drone shots because this place is not crazy big, but it's very, very outdoorsy. It got super windy outside, so we're gonna bring it inside and make sure that we can hear every single thing about Grand Island in this tour that we about to hit. So Grand Island is literally that Buffalo here, you got a bridge and you have Niagara Falls. That in between part, that's Grand Island. And honestly, you know I talk good about a lot of places, but for the house that you get out here in acreage, it does not compare now the thing about out here it's a way slower pace of living like everybody is chill mode out here and it's literally because like you don't have a lot to do out here like grand island is dope is nice but it is really not a whole lot to do who it is for it could be for those retirees but more importantly if you're an outside person grand island is probably the perfect place for you because you have beaver island state park you have a nothing but water surrounding the island so how you seen all those uh, shots of the river the boat people be out there all summer long boating jet skiing and you can also you can take the river all the way up to canal side so if you got a boat hey if you lucky enough to get a place along the river because them joints is expensive we'll get into housing a little bit later but when it comes to outdoor spaces peace quiet grand island i'm telling you guys is really the place to be and we'll go over more pros and cons as we get through this video but that's really at the start of this video that's what i want to say where it is buffalo niagara falls grand island really what it's about who it's really for i mean it's people it's peaceful it's people obviously it's peaceful guys i'm telling you and for the amount of house that you guys get for the acreage of land everybody got their own slice like you know the american slice they cut it out here because i'm telling it's nothing but country and there's still so much more room to build but if you guys are new to this channel if this is your first time watching this video welcome if you guys coming back you know my heart a little, little heart shape but thank you guys if you guys don't already know my name is Devante davis i'm born raised br this is my hood buffalo my hood i was born and raised here bred here everything in between and we cover all those things on this channel right here and this is literally from my lens of buffalo so i can only give it to you how i give it to you but welcome back like i said if you're new good looking out welcome hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell this helps the channel tremendously and it helps you boy y'all too a little bit you know um but we cover it all eating sleeping walking drinking does not matter we cover it on this channel so if you guys are moving to buffalo you hear so many great things or you're just curious make sure you hit your boy up or if you're already in buffalo and you're looking to move around you guys know i love real estate you know i love helping people so make sure you guys hit me up call email text it does not matter more importantly hit the zoom link in the thing below in the description hit the link it takes you directly to me we'll jump on a zoom call asap but let's get back into it now grand island when it comes to housing out here because i know everybody well how do you live out there you're talking about all this space what is it really you have a flurry of different homes now the biggest difference i would say between here and buffalo especially um here in niagara falls now in grand island there's some parts which is uncommon in a buffalo area that don't have basements like a lot of homes out here sit on slabs and it's because literally a you're surrounded by water so you you might not want to <laughs> might not want to have a basement too close to that water and your joint just cave in on you but another reason is in some spots out here it is kind of healy like you'll see a lot of houses kind of stack on top of each other or sit some sit so far back off the land inside where it's a little drier now inside of buffalo that's 
like it's it's not uncommon but it's not in every house type of thing there's some sections like over on off fix road or love road or ransom road out here in grand island a lot of those sits on sit on slabs now when it comes to the different type of housing a lot of those in that area so all south park like i said love road fix road you'll have a lot of your almost like a ranch style or like a loft style home if you will uh, again it sits on a slab and they just build up those one level ones a lot of people build on top just add more square footage you know maybe that uh bedroom bathroom i sold one out here i would say a year ago literally same thing lady moved up from georgia hit me up off youtube so it, i'm telling you it, it's something to this thing she hit me up same thing whitney love them favorite people right now uh she hit me up say so and we got them something right on the island i think we got something for like 192 now that is another point to make about the island out here a lot of houses out here are expensive at one point last year there was nothing when i mean nothing nothing under 300,000 out here once you move out here are you really thinking about grand island you gonna spend a little bit of money when it comes to housing now do you get like i said i feel like you get way more grass way more green way more space between people out here but you will spend a little bit i think right now i look like i would say three days ago right now is november 8th or 9th you had four houses under three hundred thousand. Four, four. it was like four that's it four so <laughs> once you guys thinking about that and obviously you guys can see these houses are beautiful one of a kind homes especially those going all up and down east river hey you're living on the river like i don't think you get much more peace quiet and beauty than that you literally sit on the river and then lastly those houses i'll say you sit far back and a lot of those have the boating docks right there too so you can hop out of bed brush your teeth and go hit the water straight in the summer now i'll say it freezes all that and they got their docks and everything pushed in the back um for the winter time when it freezes over but it's a, a amazing style of living when it comes to grand island now some cons about Pro, uh, Long Island, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, there's not a whole lot to do, at least to me. Like, one thing I could say, and I just moved my office out here, it ain't a whole lot to eat. I just ate Subway twice, and not only, I don't even eat Subway like that. Like, I ate Subway two days in a row. I was, like, it's not a whole lot to eat. What I will say, and that's a couple good restaurants, is Dick and Jenny's amazing they moved up from like new i think they cut they came from new orleans they got like a creole style fish oh my gosh it's amazing now the next place that's actually new right on the boulevard is exquisite eats and that's literally as soon as you come off the circle as soon as you come off the what highway is that 990 something like that yeah 990 i think uh is right there now that's their main strip so grand island boulevard once you get in like that's it everything else is just houses and grass like <laughs> like somebody watching this from grand island I'm like no yes like that's it it's grand island boulevard and houses that's it another good place is i always forget how to pronounce it it's a taco place literally right on grand island boulevard it's tongue tico lindino or something like that whatever you about to see the footage is amazing they got these chicken tacos and you don't got, even got to pay extra for the guacamole they put it on there for you but i'm telling you it's not a lot of places out here to eat that's just three and they all on the same boulevard that's it like so if you're not an outdoorsy person, honestly, or you really don't want that peace and quiet with some acreage, which most people do anyways, it ain't a whole lot out here. It, it ain't a beautiful place to live, a few things to do. Mostly, like I said, you're gonna be in your own little world. You gonna be in your own little world out here. As we wrapping this up, same thing with rentals. They just uh, put actually a couple of new rentals on Grand Island Boulevard. Um, they are fairly expensive though. You have your normal rentals, your 950 for two bedrooms, you know, 1,000, 1,500 for your threes. If you want something luxury living right on a Grand Island Boulevard, 
you gonna pay a little bit of premium, but I'll say they're literally brand new. I would say like that in the last three years or so. So if you were thinking about, like I said, a little more peaceful style of living, or you really just want a little more space when it comes to that, or you really just want to really feel the outdoors every single day, live close to the river, things like that, Grand Island may be a place for you. Now, if you're going back and forth, a lot of people still do work in the city out here and you know and then just drive back it's not a far drive whatsoever and to me like i said instead of paying crazy you know what i'm saying instead of finding yourself in a bidding war in orchard park it's the same drive so if you think about if you're in the inside the city of buffalo or right in the, the center city you're gonna drive 30 minutes to orchard park you're gonna drive 30 minutes to grand island you may want to look in grand island like you really may it ain't much to do out there in orchard park either like if we being honest i did the vlog check it out but it, you know what i'm saying you're doing the same thing a lot of people are like oh grand island is far it's not far you cross the bridge if you already in chitawaka you you cut down 10 minutes if you in amherst you just cut down 10 minutes so it's a 20 minute drive 30 minute drive depending on where you are around the city the same drive you'll take out to orchard park and i'm telling you guys from experience, like you, for the same amount of money, you're about to pay half a million, 300,000, 400,000 in Orchard Park, look in Grand Island as well. Now, that's a shameless plug, but it's something to expand you guys, look around your areas. But if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, like I said, it ain't much, or, uh, obviously Orchard Park, it ain't much to Grand Island, but it is a nice, peaceful place to be. As always, my name is Devontae Davis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, like button, hit the little bell with the ding <laughs> and make sure you guys subscribe i will surely surely appreciate it and you know if you're moving in or already in buffalo looking to move around make sure you guys hit your boy up call email text or just hit that link in the description and i will get to you asap i will talk to you guys in the next one